Hey everyone, Zellan here from Windstrength, bringing you a quick training tip. Uh, on today's video, I wanted to talk about the deadlift and one mental cue that's helped me uh, with the starting position and starting to pull from the floor. It comes down to thinking of squeezing the barbell off the floor rather than pulling the barbell off the floor. Um, that it addresses a couple of things. Um, if you ever play golf, you know, you don't really want to hit the golf ball, you want to swing the golf club. While yes, you're obviously hitting a golf ball, the mindset behind your movement is going to dictate how that movement uh, actualizes in when you start moving the body. So the first thing with creating tension is thinking of your body as a series of springs that you really want to drive in that tension so that it has enough stored energy to lift that barbell off of the floor. If we think simply of pulling the barbell off the floor, uh, we're going to do a couple of things that might not be as efficient or might not be as smooth as if you were squeezing that off the floor with the rest of your body. Um, so a couple of things that help me is to think of pushing my upper chest to one side of the room. Um, so I want to really, even though I'm bent over, I create a proud chest while still holding on, while still maintaining that grip on the barbell. Uh, the other thing is I want to sink my feet into the floor as much as possible. And then finally, you only want to start pulling that barbell off of the floor when you hear the, the barbell clink onto the weight plates within the collar. So whenever you pull the barbell, there's always going to be a little bit of slack between the, the barbell itself and the, and, the sh and the collar or the shaft there. There'll be a little clink and that's when you hear that clink, that's when you really start to drive tension. That's when the, the weight should start lifting off of the floor. You don't really want to clink it up and then drive it off as explosively as possible. Um, I personally like the squeezing the, off the floor. Uh, this might help you. It might not, depending on your barbell, uh, your, depending on your deadlift style. Um, give it a go with the lighter weights and the warm up and see how it feels leading up to a heavy set. Um, it may or may not help you, but this is what I found has helped me uh, pull five plates back in the day thinking of squeezing the bubble off the floor rather than pulling the bubble off of the floor. And finally, just to mention, um, one thing you notice with my lift is that I like to generate that starting position when I'm bent over holding the bubble already, rather than standing tall and creating the brace up here. I personally found it a bit more comfortable for me to bend over and you notice I start with a pretty curved back um, when I'm gripping the bubble, but then I'll tension into uh, that starting position and I'll my goal is to really only start pulling the weight once my back is flat and my chest is kind of facing the opposite side of the room. So hopefully those little tips help you in your quest for a bigger deadlift. Uh, may or may not help you, everyone's body is kind of different. So if you're struggling with the deadlift, try implementing a couple of these tips. Uh, if not, keep doing what you're doing because I'm sure you're going to be deadlifting more than I am pretty soon. So this has been Selen from Wind Strength and remember, a better life through strength.